Hello, my friend. Welcome to my channel. Today we've got Happy Birthday, Heather, from Lacquered for Life. This is an Instagram collaboration hosted by Tinkerbell 1970s and Nell Gems. Our theme was a smush fluid art. I'm going to try to do both in one manicure. I'm starting off with Protect Me by Adored Colors, and this is going to be my protection because a smushy can get quite messy. But I had already, and I don't know what happened to my footage, but I'd already done a base coat and a coat of Shutout from Bases Loaded Lacquer. Just a white cream, whatever white cream you have would work just fine. And put that down and put a top coat on it so it would dry down to get ready for this messy smushy I'm fixing to be doing. Get that protect me on there really good. I really do like this liquid latex. I've had nothing but good results. I'll be using L'Oreal Cream Dement and also by L'Oreal. This one's called Bubble Trouble. These are going to be my smishy polishes. I've got out my Fabio Nails Stamper and I'm going to use it to do the smishy. You can do a smishy all sorts of different ways. Today I'm just using the stamper and we're putting drops of the different colored polishes all over, just all over the stamper head. And you can do as many or as few as you want because you can do this in layers if you'd like. And then we're just tap, tap, tapping it onto the nail. I'm trying not to muddy it up too bad. It gets a little muddy, but it's okay. I'm just kind of wanting like that smishy marbled look, you know, just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Very, very light. And to clean off my stamper, I'm going to use my lint roller, just like I would if I was stamping. And then we're going to go back, back in with the colors and do some more little dot, dot, dots all over the place. It's been a while since I did a smushy, so I was pretty happy to be able to play with this technique today. And normally with that much polish on the stamper head, I can get a couple of nails, maybe three nails, or a little two with some touch-up or something, you know. So it just depends on how your polishes are playing. And these are doing pretty good. Going to clean that stamper off again, and then get back to it. There we go. Blop, 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 blop. Putting blots of polish down here. All right, I think we're ready. I'm going back in with peach colored. It looks kind of pink on screen, but in real life it was peach, more peach than pink. So I'm using the extra to go over some of the other nails again. Just dab, 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 tap, tap. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if that thumb needs any more. I think we're good. And there it is. I'm going to top it out with the INMs out the door. I'm going to get this to dry down before we head on to the next step, the fluid art part. Keeping that free edge. I'll be using bases loaded lacquer shutout and bases loaded lacquer on the black. And Dance Legend. This is the Spotted Polish White. It's a special polish along with the black version also. These are the ones that make the cells. I'll be using an old number two brush. I have no idea where it came from. And I've got my little Manitude mat out today. And I'm just gonna put blobs of, this is shut out that I'm putting down right here. <clears throat> putting down, you know, a few, few, several dots of it. And then I'm gonna go in with some of the, on the black. And then we're going to go in with the spotted white and the spotted black. And then I think I might go in a little bit more with some of the regular polishes. Because I'm not I'm smushing this with a stamper this time. I'm going to scoop it up with a brush. I don't normally do it like this. And I was just trying to do some kind of like little squiggly across the nail. And I really loved how the thumb turned out. It was my favorite one out of all of them. I don't know if y'all do that, but I do. I always pick a favorite nail, and I'm just like swishing it. And Sam's so thinking I'm just doing a swish. Well, after this manicure was like totally done, 
and I was done with it and dried and me and my husband were playing cards. He looked at my nails. He said, what, what does 2722 mean? Because that's what he saw when he looked at these nails. It looked like I had painted on numbers. But I was just trying to do like a little swoosh. But 2722. So we're going to get the liquid latex off of these digits here. Get our cleanup done. There we go, got that off. And I'm gonna go in with my cleanup brush and just go around the edges real quick. Not too awful bad since we used the Protect Me. I do dip my brush into my little dampen dish and then I kind of tap it off on the paper towel so that I don't flood my cuticles and mess up my manicure with the acetone. I do this, y'all will see me dab, dab, tap, tap. And that's what I'm doing. I am going to top these with the Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat. They were still a little tacky and I didn't want it smearing. And then I'm going to cover them with Sesh Vite. So before I forget, don't forget to check out the description box because there will be links and hashtags and all that good stuff down there if you'd like to go check out the other manicures over on the Instagram. Getting that Sesh Vite Top Coat on there, all nice and glossy. Going to cap my free edge off camera, of course. No, there we go. Oh, look at. Look at that. And I really enjoyed this one. It was fun. It was different. Hi, Woody. How you doing? Good job. Here is my swatch photo. I do hope you enjoyed this one. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.